Do you want early access? Do you want uncut reactions? If so, then check out our Patreon. Link in the description down below. It's uh, that time yet again for us to uh, encounter some demons and some demon hunters and... Curses. Curses, sorry. Some curses and uh, people who use their uh, energy to fight back against said curses and Jujutsu Kaisen. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's about to get interesting because uh, this is post, or well, still mid-training. Uh, he's taking him to this... Uh, theater where some bad shit happened, apparently. I mean, we saw it. Doesn't look good. The bad guys have been talking about how they're going to capture the... What is that? Go... Go... go, I want to say Gojo, but that's like the... Gojo's the teacher. Is is that his name? I think so, yeah. I feel like that's wrong, because that's like the hand cream. So, Yuji. Yuji Itadori. Gojo. Satoru Gojo. Gojo. No, what's right? Yeah. Satoru Gojo. All right. Anyway, I was right. But uh, they're talking about how they were they're gonna capture it, and I got some kind of plan. And like anime <clears throat> formulas dictates that yeah, like if they're gonna have like a super powerful sensei, it would be kind of a good idea to remove him from the equation at some point so that you have the conflict for the main characters going on. At the same time, thinking like, wouldn't it be kind of interesting if like he just remains like a factor, or, like they think they're gonna take him out, and it's just like he takes out the guys that we think are gonna be the villains, and it was like a fake out. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> he is just too powerful for everybody. He's just too much of it, just too good. It's like anime, but the sensei is so powerful that the main characters never actually get to have any major conflicts. It's almost <laughs> like that one. Uh, the hero is so overpowered. Uh, anime that came out not too long ago. A lot of people said that anime was like fucking hilarious, and I I would I would like to give it a watch anyway. Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, episode nine, we got it queued up here. Let's give it a watch. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Human earthworm through. Oh. Manifestation. was pushing the Woo Damn son I mean if you just witnessed that, I mean that'd be a terrifying thing to
So was it his will that manifested the what happened to them? I don't know if it was that or if it was just uh coincidence. to the point and brutally honest even though they can come off as a dick which that's he did right there at the beginning when uh, he was just like jujitsu sorcerers are shit it's like dick also what he said he didn't respect gojo yeah well of course how could anybody not respect that guy well because maybe he's known him longer and he just has a different way of looking at things i don't know i mean one person's way of judging things is completely different from another i mean i've I mean, hell, I hold certain things in higher regard. Things that I know for me are something very big, which to you, they're not, because you don't really, you don't have an interest in them. I mean, it, that's just how it is. Uh... Leopard spotted tie. It's like you're playing Yakuza all over again. Merit 
Detergent. There you go. Tap into it. Oh, so double impact. Not bad. So, in, so instead of them being curses, instead they're humans that have just been altered. That's just, that's cruel, man. It probably explains why the one looked like it was crying, like I feared got punched. Yeah, that's what I found weird. I was just like, huh, that's that's odd. Because yeah. usually these things are so filled with like their raw, like emotion, which is usually hatred, and you know the seeking of revenge that they they have no. You know, sense to cry, but these things, damn, that's that's terrible. Well, I can't help but feel guilty. So he's the irrational fear of humanity. That's fucked up.
映画館にいた少年ヨシン純平彼は被害者と同じ高校の同級生だそうです監視カメラの映像と佇まいからして彼が呪詛師である可能性呪詛師悪質な呪術師のことです手順はイジチ君に任せてあるので2人でヨシン純平の調査をお願いしますあっそうだ俺Probably. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe that's, that's his deal is that he's an evil jujitsu sorcerer. Or a cursed user. Yeah. Well, we'll have to see. Something to tell you. Penis. What? Penis. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. It's just the delivery of that was good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you just randomly say penis, it's just like it's just like whatever. But but in that regard, it's just like you can't help but laugh a little bit. That was pretty good. You got it. Not gonna lie. So the whole episode was like a little bit uh, more informational than. Think previous ones have been. Which is shaping up like the next one's going to be a little more action oriented. Yeah. I think the one thing is there's it's it's following the traditional format. However, it's it's going through it's speeding through certain processes a bit a bit faster, and it's taking a a turn with us getting to know uh, the curses a bit more. The curses or the villains in this regard. Uh, Stitch guy and the uh, the bullied kid, we got to know them a lot during this. Uh, the bullied kid, I mean, honestly, I, how he was treated was just terrible. I mean, that girl wanted to show up, like how popular she was with those three guys, and if they showed up enough for her, like, like each of them had the idea. It's like, oh, if I stick up for her enough, enough maybe I'll get to sleep with her. It's like, no, she's playing you guys. Like if you're too dumb to see that, then you, then honestly you you don't even deserve to graduate high school. But in all honesty, the stuff like that, dude. You know, I I usually like like scoff or like look like just like shake my head at bully stuff. But considering how real that stuff is and how it can elicit very very bad feelings. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna say like it was uh it was anything or like it's anything uh, worth uh, lashing out over, but yeah, I was bullied. I, I was bullied a bit back in school, and and, I, and I'm gonna be honest. It I'm not gonna say it stings now. I'm just gonna say for a long time it bugged me because it baffled my mind. It's like why would they seek to treat me like that? Why would they do that? Why? 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 And it made me feel like. You know, if I had the opportunity to just, like, just, if I had the opportunity to, like, push a button and all of a sudden every single one of them gets an uppercut from Mike Tyson at the same time, I'd probably, I'd probably push it because some of them deserve it. But 
at the same time, it's like, as the older, the older I got, the bigger I got, and the less people fucked with me, and also, when people did mess with me, I would strike back, and they would know to leave me the hell alone. It's just a weird, random thought, that's just how my strange-ass brain works. I did get bullied a whole lot. Um, and I know that most of those people probably grew the fuck up, and hopefully none of them are still dickheads. But if I had a button that could separate them out and be like, all right, the ones who learned to not be fucking dickheads when they were adults, I would press a button that one time, and I, I got this idea from basically thinking about the John Tron episode we just watched still with uh, the old people products. But yeah. I would press a button that just one time for certain, like their toilet paper would rip through as they wiped their butt. Oh. And then just be like, hey, hey. But any of them that stayed a dick, especially if they were, like, abusive towards somebody they're with or something like that, and they're actually a piece of shit. Yeah. I would definitely press a button to launch a two-by-four, like, in the hook movie, like, into their nut sacks. Like, for sure. Oh! I... Oh! Yeah. That's that's still one of my favorite, like, nut shot scenes ever in, in a movie. And... Honestly, I can see that. I know a few people who were bullies of me in like middle school and early high school that didn't really change their ways. A few women that bullied me. If you're still a bitch, then if I could press a button to just make you have like a really bad menstrual cramp or something. For a oh, while, like, bro. Since you don't have nuts to launch a two by four into. <laughs> uh, just some sort of karma, you know? Yeah, karma. Well... I do believe I that... I wish death on anybody. No, like, no, no. I'd never do that. depends on how big of a piece of shit you are as if to whether or not I would wish pain on you. I've only wished death upon one person. And that person is now dead. So... And, and it wasn't me. For the most part, the Instead, people, it, uh, I think, really need to die are people who have killed a lot of other people for nothing other than... Or have... Just vi- do so, or child molesters. Okay, I'll just admit it. The person who I wanted to die was Jeffrey Epstein, and he died. But I wanted him to die. Yeah, I would have preferred preferred him to die after the trial. After his trial. I would have preferred that. But, eh. I guess I kind of got my wish, just not how I wanted it. But anyway, I think that's going to do it. This was Jujutsu Kaisen, Episode 9. Hopefully you all enjoyed, and hopefully we will see you all in the next one. So until then, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. We'll see you then, everyone. Peace out.